Hi folks, Ray Fletcher here. I got something new for you, and it's uh, it's going to be a little bit controversial. <clears throat> Straight off the bat, I want to make sure you know that. A um, couple of ground rules. No hate mail, please. Okay, because, you know, nobody likes hate mail. I'm just trying to be a little bit innovative here, but I want to throw an idea at you. I have been struggling for quite a while to try to find an optical system that works well for the M14. <clears throat> or the M1A rifle. Or if you're in Canada, most often it's going to be an M305. And, um, I've been struggling with this for years. Um, and, and I think I finally came across something that might work. Most optic systems on, on the M305 or the M1A or the M14 rifle that I've seen and that I've used have been very heavy, very cumbersome, not very effective. Um, while you may be better at bench press shooting, you're not really any better off. To any significant degree, in my opinion. Running and gunning with a, with a, an M1A with a huge scope on it. <clears throat> I, I really fish issues. Um, I don't know, kind of, uh, trying to obtain a nice cheek weld or a chin weld, is, which is most often the case, unless you have to modify your stock. Uh, there's all kinds of aftermarket um, things out there for people that are trying to run optics on their M1A rifles. And uh, I don't like any of it. I've just been running open sights. Beautiful sights. They're, you know how I feel about open sights if you've seen any of my videos. So is there a compromise? Is there something that can be done with these rifles that is... You don't have to weight down the rifle too much. Have a large you know, bell objective on these on these rifles. And a mounting system that keeps it fairly low profile. Is there a compromise? And if you've been watching any of my videos, you'll know that I'm... Oh, here we go. You'll know that I'm a big Mosin Nagant fan. Especially the PU Sniper. And I've put a lot of rounds down these rifles and <clears throat> uh, outwards of about 500 meters. And I've had a lot of success with these rifles. Even just running military surplus ammunition. And I've, I've grown quite accustomed to the optic. Uh-oh, you know where I'm going with this, don't you? <laughs> don't worry. <clears throat> so I've been thinking about putting one of these scopes on an M14. Now, whoa! I know a lot of you are out there are saying... That is against tradition to run a Soviet comm block uh, optical sight on one of the uh, most American um, rifle platforms in existence. And I apologize because that's what I, I've done. I held off for quite a while because I had very sincere concerns that putting a PU sniper optic on an M1A rifle might incur some type of phenomenon like a black hole or an event horizon upon which our planet would go through and the entire solar system would explode. Um, I had real concerns that that might happen. Uh, however, recently Stephen Hawking admitted that black holes don't exist as we normally perceive them. So I gave it a go. And here's what we came up with. Okay, <clears throat> have a look guys. I look forward to your hate mail. Uh, however, I think I might be able to work with this. It is a little bit tricky uh, running a, a PU sni sniper optic on, a, on an M14 rifle in that uh, this, the reticles don't say centered. So how do you, uh, you put a mounting system together so that your reticle stays centered, say for a 200 meter zero? We're gonna we're gonna figure that out right now. However, what I've done is I've chosen to use millet rings. Let me give you a bit of a close up here. See that? Millet rings on the sniper optic. So it can adjust for windage without having to touch the turrets. <clears throat> the rifle, the scope is mounted on the uh, Arms 18 scope mount, as you can see here. And the turrets are adjusted in mills. If you can see that, that's probably a better view right there. As you can see, the scope is manufactured by a company called Vomz. V-O-M-Z. These are a Russian replica of the, the original PU sniper. 
optic. Um, upon first glance, and ultimately this is what I'm going to be testing as a scope today. Upon first glance and kind of playing with it, I would say that the uh, that the quality of the the optics are very comparable to an original PU sniper. And um, nice broad post with a sharp point really helps. I think this is, could be a good service rifle rig. Second observation was that the turrets are very difficult to turn, which actually there are benefits to that, but uh, if it's raining and your hands are wet, it might be a little bit difficult to turn. We're going to give this a go. Uh, we're going to do a tracking test, and we'll see how this we'll see how this rig works. But uh, I, I got pretty good feelings about it. The the eye relief is almost perfect. I don't quite have a chin weld, as you can see here, but it's as close to I think what a, a, a chap can get without having to put a a fake um, cheek piece on these rifles. <clears throat> so there we go. Let's give it a go. a little bit too far. Well, it didn't work. I'm not going to bother showing you the footage because I don't want to waste your time. Didn't work. And it's because the millet rings just didn't work out for me. Got to find a way of finding a, uh, a mount that is adjustable for windage and for elevation so I can get this reticle to stay in the center. Something that will bolt on to this ARMS 18 mount. And uh, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. You know, you'd uh, you'd adjust to the left, you'd adjust to the right, you'd over adjust, you had to bring it back and then it'd be somewhere completely different and instead of wasting ammunition I'm just going to revisit the drawing board and see what I can come up with for rings. If you guys know of um, kind of a, a, a ring set that you can adjust for vertical and, and horse and for windage if you know of one, let me tell me, and uh, I'll pursue it, stick it on here, and you guys can be part of this project. I, I think it's worth pursuing. I just love the uh, the PU reticle, kind of the, the German uh, pattern number four crosshair with the post. I love it. I really, really do. I love that reticle, and I like the compact nature of, of these scopes. So help me out, guys. What are your suggestions? The millet rings didn't work, so just a little bit too tricky. You're guessing in order to get things uh, centered. Uh, I don't. That's not how I rock and roll. I don't like guessing. So something a little bit more, uh, should we say, measurable and verifiable would be better. So guys, I'm not giving up on this. Cause I think it's a good idea. I think I'm onto something here. So let me know what you guys know about so far as it comes to rings. Thanks a lot guys, Rifle Chair signing out, and as always, Maple Leaf up.